All right, the great search brought to you by DigiKey Native Fruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering for the last decade plus to yeah. find things on the DigiKey site. This week, uh, this one came in 20, from someone we know. Almost, yeah. Um, and they said, "Hey, I'm looking for uh, you know a supplier for some anti-static stuff." Yeah. So let's so. go to the overhead and I'll show what they're looking for. So they're making feather boards with headers attached. So like this. Uh, this like you know metro uh, says metro mini when you've got the headers attached you really want to ship it with something protecting um the headers and and you can use bubble but it really it just nothing is quite as nice as anti-stat foam you you press it in and it first off it's extremely satisfying uh, it's got like a little asmr thing going on there and it's it doesn't move it doesn't come out um it protects the pins uh, so you don't get something like this where it's like, oh, no, pins get bendy, bendy. Not so good. Um, so they were asking, like, well, wh how do you get uh, anti-static foam? And it's one of those things where um, there's really actually not that many suppliers of it. It's a kind of, it's not specialized, but it's sort of, there's only sort of like three companies that supply it. And um, it's both incredibly common, but like it isn't advertised. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's. It's like copy paper. It's like you know, you know, you you know where to get it or you don't, but you're not gonna, you're gonna see ads for it necessarily. And so um, I thought I would show how to find um, anti-step foam. And there's a couple different kinds, and you really want to make sure you get the right kind. You want this firm, firm kind that um, you can, you know. Yeah, it's like shopping pins. for tofu. Yeah, you want the firm uh, tofu, not the soft tofu. I personally yeah. like soft tofu, but if you're stir frying, you want the firm tofu. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you want to go to the computer? Soft. Yeah, let's go to the computer. Okay, so let's go to DigiKey. So um, the first thing you can do is just look for anti-static foam, which will which will get you some things. Um, so there's you know there's static control devices. Now I will say that you know if you're going to use this like. So statistically speaking, statically, statistically, you're not going to have as much ESD damage to your chips and boards as historical. Like sometimes people get really kind of like nervous and they're like, oh my God, you're putting chips in, in something that isn't anti-static and oh my God, what are you going to do? What are you doing? It's going to get damaged. For the most part, you know, chips these days are way more durable than in like the 80s and 70s when they didn't have... Uh, you know, built-in ESD diodes and, and the process was a lot more delicate. Nowadays, like chips, look, you can definitely destroy them, but it's just not as easy, right? They're, they're much more uh, durable. That said, if you're going to use foam, you might as well use anti-stat foam. And anti-stat foam is available both um, in pink, pink style and black style. They're both the same. Neither, they're, they're going to both work just fine. Um, if you do need large quantities pre-cut, um, that's a separate service. I'm just going to show you where to get like gigantic sheets. Okay, so under accessories, it's the thing. It's under accessories, right? Not under grounding mats. Um, so you can see. Okay, we're, we're getting close. But here's here's the thing. The problem with this is it's actually kind of hard to see what you're looking at because it's like what are these are two different things, but they look the same. One of them is soft, and you can actually see. You know. Sometimes you get like super soft urethane foam, like it protecting a PCB. You're not going to be able to f get the pins through this. It's actually just like not going to, it's just not going to sink through. Um, so instead, uh, let's, first off, let's only look at active. <clears throat> okay, hold on. And um, so the, the important thing is the specification. So, um, there's thickness and specification. So the thickness, you know, get whatever thickness is, you know, you, you need, you know, measure the headers that you want and then how, how thick you want it. Um, but the most important thing is that if you want it to be the stiff type, you want it to be cross-linked. That's the, the name of the um, type. I don't think that the closed cell is the, I, I don't know whether the closed cell is the right kind and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, but what I really like is three eighth inch uh, cross linked. So let's look at all the three eighth inch options. And then here's the thing: there's also the sheets available in uh, uh, three quarters. Uh, sorry, three eighths. Let me add five sixteenths also. Okay. So then 
yeah, so there's there's this, but you can even kind of tell this is like soft and squishy. You gotta be, be careful. This is the uh, conductive. And this also, I don't know if it's firm or not. This one definitely looks soft and squishy. It's a cushioning guard. Yeah, so that's not gonna be the right kind. So let's also look for uh, what's in stock. Okay, so this one, soft, you don't want that. And this is also, you can tell it's soft, like you can even see the corners kind of bending. So the one you want is this. And what's nice is they even have a photo uh, showing it in use. So you're like, yeah, that's what I want. You can see the chips are like plugged into it. And so um, these are, they come in, in gigantic sheets, two, two feet by three feet. So because you're gonna pay for the shipping, it's like a, a big box, you should get multiple sheets. Like I will usually get like five plus sheets at a time. And then um, they're really easy to cut with any scissors. Uh, and then what you would do is I actually recommend putting all the boards in like on the large sheet and then cutting them rather than trying to cut them into like small sheets or, or die cutting them and then pressing them. Although that, that can work. It's just, I find that the more surface area you have, the easier it is to plug it in. Otherwise it's like when you're near the edge, you don't have enough material pushing up against the pins for it to plug in. Just if you go through this, you'll, you'll, and you do that, you pre-cut the squirt, you'll be like, oh, I remember she said, don't do that because of this thing. That's very annoying. Um, so I just recommend, you know, you do what they're doing, which is, you know, you plug everything in and then you cut the sheet, but, uh, you do get a large amount. You get, you know, uh, six square feet, which is like, you know, a big chunk. So it's, it's not cheap. It's like 50, 60 bucks. But you get a lot and, um, you know, I would basically buy 10 sheets that would last me like six months when I was doing kits and I'd put chips in them and you can put feathers in them. And then of course, if you are using stacking headers, extra long headers, you don't want three eighths, you want one half inch or whatever. Just measure whatever it is and add a little bit and that's the thickness of the foam you want. Okay, a couple questions. Yeah. Um, first up, uh, anti-static foam versus tubes. And then the second part of the question is, uh, anti-static foam from a few dec decades ago, would it break down after a number of years, grid pins? Is today's anti-static foam any better? I don't think it's going to be made much differently yet. I mean, I think it lasts a very, very long time, like mm. decades. I've got foam. You know, I haven't heard anything. I've like never that. heard of any foam issues. I think the soft foam will break apart much sooner than this cross-linked stuff, which yeah. is quite durable. Um, I'm not quite sure civilization is going to last another 10 yeah. to 20 years from now. You've got other problems. So that's future problems, but I think any foam is probably going to be okay. Yeah, this is the stuff I use, and I think it's I think it's great. And this is from Conductive Containers, who I also... We, we had on INMPI and they make, you know, they'll do custom stuff for you always. So if you, if you need, if you do want stuff pre-cut or pre-shaped, they'll do it for you. Like you just have to order like, you know, 10,000. But I just cut these with scissors and it was great. All right. All right, that's what and I that's got. It, that's it with the foam questions. And that is? Foam, foam. Discolate Ada. Release the foam. Where in the world is